What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, um, for us, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for sign of Taurus. This can resonate if you have Taurus in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what's that maintain energy of your charts? Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, free general or card reading for May of 2022 for sign up course. Um, I got a channel message in, so I'm going to share it. Um, I heard a Aries for some, a, a Aries for some, a Capricorn for some, and for some, a Scorpio is about to become very, very significant in a, um, Taurus's life. Um, some in a positive way, some in a negative way. For some, you're going to have to really stand up to, um, this person for some people for some. So you plug it in your own life, how it resonates, if that resonates for you, Taurus. Um, you have Capricorn, Scorpio, and Aries energy. They could have Caps, Scorpio, or Aries in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. Whoever this per person or people are and how they apply in your life. To me, they could be masculine or feminine. Um, and like I said, they could have Aries, Caps, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. Go for at least one of you guys are going to have to stand up to at least one of these people. For some, you could be dealing with one person. For some, two plus people. For some, none of the people. But however that applies and resonates in your own life. Spirit messages you have sign of course. Addictions are very, very, are haunting, very, uh, haunting one particular masculine energy very, 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 very heavily. Very heavily. He might pass away soon. Okay, I heard addictions are haunting one particular masculine energy very, very, very heavily. He might pass away soon. So I don't feel this is you, Taurus. I feel it's somebody you're connected with or dealing with if that message resonates with you. Some kind of addictions energy um, is very, very, very heavily haunting a particular masculine energy I think you're connected to if that message applies for you. Um, I heard he might pass away soon. So um, you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. For some, it's alcoholism. For some, it's cocaine use. For some, it's meth. Okay, I heard for some it's alcoholism, for some it's cocaine use, for some it's meth. So for some of these masculine energies, it's cocaine use, for some it's meth, for some it's um, alcoholism. Um, for some of these masculine energies, they could be a Capricorn, a uh, Scorpio, or a um, to, um, Capricorn, Scorpio, or a, who was the other one? Um, Capricorn, Sporks, or um, Aries. They can have uh, Capricorn, Sports, or Aries in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, number 58, 22, uh, you got 22 twice. 58, 22, or 45 could be, could be a very significant number in one's life. 58, 22, or 45, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 58, 22, or 45. Um, and double confirmation for 22. And I just heard 222, so we're going to look up angel number 222. You have stag spirit, take the lead, dragonfly spirit, true transcends illusion, ant, work achievement, success, um, wreath, sorrow over a loss, march, humming, uh, hummingbird joy, unicorn, unicorn purity. Two 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 means that good things are on the way. In this sense, the number two 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 is a sign of good things to come. You are on the right path and doing the right things in life. Positivity, good luck, and joy, and you have joy there. 
So whoever that uh, particular message is for. For some, you could be dealing with um, another earth sign or an air sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, uh, I'm sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and our Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Moon, and Jupiter charts, if that message applies for you. Stag Spirit, take the lead. Leadership opportunity coming for one. For one, a very serious situation is going to have to force you to the forefront. Some personal, some professional. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so leadership opportunity coming for one. I feel this is in... Um, workspace energy um or you maybe it's in a business and you take you know you were head of the business however that resonates with some kind of leadership opportunity however that resonates for some it can be leadership in your family if you want to do that however that resonates um and for someone else um i heard there's some kind of um some very serious situation it sounds like it's going to be upcoming in a workspace situation um you're going to have to take the lead on it whether you want to or not um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So take the lead, um, leadership, leadership, uh, directing, um, managing, um, doing the, hopefully doing the right thing and not, not abuse of power. However, that plugs in one's life. For one Taurus, this is a breakup. You know, it's been coming. It needs to be done. For some, it's with another earth sign. For some, it's with the air sign. Okay. For some, it's with the fire sign. Okay. So for some of you guys, it's a breakup. So taking the lead in this aspect is you taking the lead to break up with whoever this person is. That it sounds like I heard it. Heard you know it's been coming a long time. So apparently you're not happy and they're not happy either. And it sounds like y'all are just staying in it just to be staying in it. Um, which is stagnant, stuck energy in a relationship. That's ah, just saying. Um, but um, I heard you know it's been coming a long time. It just sounds like it hasn't been done. It might it hasn't it, for some of these reasons it might not have been done because of money is what I'm thinking. Uh, for some I heard it's a fire sign. For some it is another earth sign. For some it is a um, uh, air sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, in this aspect, it's you taking the lead and breaking up with this person. Um, I feel you could either be in a um, common law marriage with them or a uh, girlfriend or boyfriend type situation or a fiance type situation. I don't feel you're legally married if that resonates for you. Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends, truth transcends illusion. A particular Taurus is about to really, really notice changes in a Leo and an Aquarius. It's about to alarm you because your plan is not going the way you thought it was going to go. And you're right, it's not. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, some kind of Leo and Aquarius energy. I've been pulling le this Leo and Aquarius energy in several signs in here this round. I've also been pulling in a masculine energy that has apparently is about to be exposed for fathering all these children all across the universe. And um, for one of these masculine energies, he's in a false marriage. So um, how that resonates, just saying. But it's some kind of Leo and Aquarius energy. It can be masculine or feminine Leo, masculine or feminine Aquarius. But um, I heard you're about to see some huge changes in both of these people. And it's about to start alarming you because your plan is not going the way you thought it was going to go. So truth transcends illusion. And this aspect is the truth of the changes of the Leo energy and the Aquarian energy. I feel it's changes in each person. 
separate changes in the Leo, separate changes in the Aquarius. It sounds like they are mirroring each other or about to start mirroring each other. Um, it sounds like it is positive energy for these two. Um, it sounds like they're about to start mirroring each other or they already are mirroring each other. Um, because I heard your plan's not going the way you thought it was going to go. So I think you were trying to keep this Leo and Aquarius away from each other. Or you were trying to, um, I think you were trying to keep them away from each other is what I think. Because they're significant to you. I think you were trying to keep them away from, away from each other is what I'm thinking. Um, how that plugs into one's life, Taurus. A child is about to tell you the truth to, Truth soon. It's about to shock you. For some, it's a 10 and under child. For some, it's a 17 and under child. Okay, I heard a child is about to tell you the truth soon. It's about to shock you. For some of you guys, it's a 17 and under child. For some, it's a 10 and under child. So some kind of truth from a child energy. It, I feel it could be a masculine or feminine child, but um, for some of these children, they're 17 or under. For some, they're 10 or under. They're about to tell you the truth. Um, they're obviously old enough to tell you the truth um, if they're 10 or 17 or under or 10 or under, um, depending on the age of the child, 10 or under. But just saying, just saying, I don't feel it's like a one-year-old or a two-year-old. I feel it's someone that can verbalize what they want to say. Um, whoever they are and how they apply in your life to us. It could be your child, just somebody you're connected to's child. However that applies. Ant, work, achievement, success. Working, working, working hard, working hard. And one Taurus is going to start working out. Okay, well, that's a good one. I heard working, working, working hard, and one Taurus is going to start working out. So I think like exercising, just saying, just saying, just saying. You go through bad self. So um, I think you're working hard either in business, if you own your own business or co-own a business or collaborating with, collaborating with others with the business. Or it could be workspace energy, or it could be both. Um, and in this aspect, it could be the exercise, exercising energy, um, if you are in the exercising category, how that resonates for you. So some kind of exercising energy and some kind of um, either workspace energy, business energy, or both. How that applies in one's life course, only you know your story, not anybody else. But working hard um, to achieve your success, goals, dreams, and either a workspace energy, a um, business or businesses energy or a or exercising wreath sorrow over a loss a death is going to occur in a particular course's life soon shocking death Water sign energy, masculine, is going to shock the hell out of you. No one saw it coming. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of secrets here, but a lot of secrets are being exposed on this person. And they're about to cope in a very negative way. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So there's some kind of water sign energy in your life. Uh, masculine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine energy. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Them, and Hammond, Jupiter, Charles. But I heard a lot of secrets are being exposed on this person. Um, and they're about to cope in a very negative way. They could be the one that has these addictions. Either the coke, the meth, or the alcoholism. Or one or both. Um, but however that resonates, they're coping in a very negative way. And it's, um, it sounds like it's going to lead to the death. Um, 
how that applies. I heard it's going to shock the hell out of everybody. So nobody's going to expect this person to pass away, but it sounds like they're about to pass away from their negative choices. Um, it sounds like they might have addictions um, is what I'm feeling. So I think you're going to be very sorrowful over this death of this person. I think you might go to their funeral or memorial service or something of that nature is what I'm feeling. Um, it's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine energy. They could have Cancer Pisces or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Avery, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, of course. March. This death is going to lead you to actually tell the truth to a feminine energy. Because if you don't, somebody else is going to. Oh, my Lord. I heard this death is going to lead you to tell the truth to a feminine energy. Because if you don't, somebody else is going to. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, that's strong. So March. Significant energy shifts entered your life in March. It's causing you to make changes in your life. Okay, significant energy energy shifts entered your life in March. It's causing you to uh, make changes in your life. So um, how that applies in one's life, Taurus. Now, energy shifts that entered your life, meaning one person or two plus people that entered your life in the month of March. It sounds like March of 2022. Um, but whoever this person or people that have entered your life, it sounds like newly or long for the past of March of 2022. Um it's causing you to make changes in your life. So to me, that could be a positive, positive change or changes or negative change or changes. For some, it could be the exercising energy. For some, it could be um, working hard or harder at work. For some, it could be um, some kind of the leadership role. For some, uh, it could be something else. But um, who, whoever this person or people that entered your life or re-entered your life in March of 2022, is significant in you it sounds like motivating you to make changes in your own life so this person is a very positive um, aspect in your life i'm feeling this person or people it feels like they're motivating energy um hopefully you're not secretly competing with them because anybody that secretly competes with anybody that's just for real for real, just crazy just saying but hopefully they're secret um they're positive motivating influence in your life is what i'm trying to say a positive motivating influence in your life and they um, help you to do better um that's exactly what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. Joy. A birthday party is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. An air fryer is about to die. Well, I don't see how that's going to give you joy. Dear Lord. I heard a birthday party is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. So I think that's going to give you joy. And I heard an air fryer is about to die. So um, that's not joy. I think that's sorry, sorrow over a loss that the air fryer is about to die. Um, I would be sorrowful over if my air fryer died, which I don't have an air fryer yet. But um, just saying, just saying. Um, wow. Wow. So, um, a birthday party is, um, I think it's going to make you happy. It's coming up soon in the universe, um, whoever this is, and how this applies in one's life, Taurus. A particular Taurus really does not want a class reunion to happen, but through many significant series of chain of events, it's going to happen. It's going to make many of these people very happy. A lot of truth will be displayed at this class reunion. A particular Taurus does not want it displayed. One does. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. For some, it's a 10-year reunion. For some, it's a 20-year reunion. Long overdue. 
For some, it's a 10 year reunion. For some, it's a 20 year reunion, long overdue. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So for some of you guys, it's a 10 year reunion, class reunion. For some, it's a uh, 20 year reunion, long overdue. Um, somebody, one force doesn't want this um, class reunion to happen because it sounds like some kind of a lot of truths about to be exposed there. And it sounds like this one force doesn't want it to be exposed. But another Taurus wants to be exposed. So you have to plug yourself in on what situation, what area you are. Do you want the truth to be exposed to this class reunion or you do not want it to be exposed? How that resonates, but um, one wants it to happen and they want the truth to be exposed. One Taurus does. One Taurus does not want this uh, class reunion to happen because the truth they know the truth will be exposed and I heard it will be exposed. So for the one that wants it to be exposed and and it sounds like plan is you plan on going to this class reunion, whether it's a 10 year reunion or a 20 year reunion long overdue, it's going to make you very happy for the one that doesn't want the class reunion to happen, whether it's the 10 year reunion or the 20 year reunion long overdue, you don't want the truth to be exposed and it's not going to make you, it's going to make you unjoyful that the truth is going to be exposed. It sounds like you won't go is what it sounds like, but you plug it in. However, that resonates if that resonates for you, Taurus. Purity. A particular Taurus is about to communicate with a lawyer about a particular masculine energy that has fathered many, 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 many children all across the community. It is severely embarrassing. It's getting out all across the community very quickly. It's going to leave this lawyer to communicate with another lawyer of another case. Oh, my Lord. Woo, there goes that person that fathered all these children all across the universe. I told you he was coming up on the readings. There he is again. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. Okay, so there's a masculine energy that has, he's being, ex he currently, the one I've been picking up, he currently, it sounds like he currently has women pregnant with children currently in utero now, and he's already has secret children already birthed out in the universe. But all these women didn't know all these women existed, but now they're all finding out about them, basically. Um, the pregnant people and the people with the children already. And I mean, there's a lot, a lot of people. There's a lot of women, a lot of kids currently in utero and all across the universe, basically. I mean, it's a huge hot mess express, it, whoever it is, it's masculine energy, but it sounds like it's coming out. It's coming out. I heard it. I heard it's coming out now. It sounds like in their energetic space and quickly. So it's coming out. It's coming out quickly. But one of you Tauruses is connected to him is what it sounds like. And it sounds like you're about to be in communication with a lawyer. So you're going to need lawyer services for some shape, form or fashion. It sounds like a, it could be a public defender or private lawyer, however that resonates in one's life. But Sounds like you are about to free willingly communicate with this lawyer um, and tell them. I heard it tell them about this situation because I heard it's highly embarrassing. And yeah, it is highly embarrassing. I mean, dear God, I could imagine being one of those women that was is pregnant currently by this person or has a child already by this person and is learning about all these women. I mean, how embarrassing is that? It's terrible. But I heard you're about to communicate with this lawyer. And once this, you communicate with this lawyer, the lawyer is going to communicate with another lawyer on another case. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So I think it's regarding this masculine energy. I think he's got people. I think all his people are finding out about all these people and they're going to file for child support or, or some other kind of legal service or services against him or against this situation or something of that nature. I mean, it's turning into a huge hot mess express quickly. Um, I mean, he obviously has severe sexual addictions and I mean severe. So you plug it in, however that resonates. And this aspect, purity, is um, the children that are being brought into this, into the world by this masculine energy that basically didn't tell anybody that he is fa fathering all these children. Um, and there's a lot of them. And in one of these cases, he's put somebody in a false marriage. In one of the cases, um, which is highly illegal and criminal, and I hope he goes to prison. And I'm serious. So purity is the children currently in utero or the children already out in the universe. They are innocent in this situation because they got brought into this situation and 
they didn't have a choice in it, basically. Um, wow. Holy crap. A huge, 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 huge theft is about to be made right soon. Know this. Okay, I heard a huge, huge, huge theft is about to be made right soon. Know this. So if this resonates with you, Taurus, a huge, huge, huge theft is about to be made so right soon. Know this. So in this aspect, purity, um, purity of doing the right thing, um, somebody was stole from in a huge, huge, huge way. Whoever this person is and how they apply to you. Uh, maybe I feel for a lot of you guys, you probably know who this person is um, that was stole from in a huge way. But I heard it, um, whether you're going to help provide information on this person that was stole from in a huge way or not, only you know your story, not anybody else. But somebody out in the universe was stole from in a huge ass way. Huge way. I heard it's going to be made right soon. So whether you help make it right or not, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But then in, in this aspect, purity is basically pure at heart, doing the right thing. Um, helping, uh, for some, I feel you might could help in this theft situation, help with information on this theft, um, or something of that nature, um, if that is your story. If not, then, and you know about the theft, you're going to hold it in, then that's your story too. Only you know your story, not anybody else. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. The clap back is real. Holy crap. I heard the clap back is real. The clap back is real. So clap back is basically popping back at somebody. The clap back is real. So either you're good. I feel you either you're going to clap back at somebody or somebody's going to clap back at you. You plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. All right. We're done. Love you guys so much. Namaste.